Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Disney's Hollywood Studios and we are going to be dining at Hollywood in Vine. They're bringing back the full buffet today, a whole brand new menu. I was just actually here two weeks ago to see Minnie's Halloween Dine and I found out that they're going to be switching back to the buffet so I decided to come back out and show you guys. It was such an amazing experience though. The character interactions are phenomenal. So we're going to eat some food, ride some rides and have a beautiful Hollywood Studios kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. The rain actually just stopped. We got our afternoon rain shower and it's a little bit drizzly still but we're still gonna have fun. I mean Hollywood Studios is always a good time because it's such a small park. Hollywood and Vine used to be a character buffet dining experience but when the parks reopened all of the restaurants didn't reopen with their buffet service they switched over to a temporary menu kind of like family dining and uh, Hollywood and Vine has been in that menu since now so it's been like two years and uh, now that they're going back to their regular ways they're just revamping and changing the whole menu so it's gonna be very exciting Something that's really cool about this character dining compared to any other character dining is the fact that it changes seasonally. So each season they actually have different uh, character costumes. They have right now, of course, they're doing the Minnie's Halloween Dine where all of our characters are dressed up in their spooky best. They also have the Springtime Dine. They have the Minnie's Holiday Dine where they dress up like Christmas. And they even have Silver Screen Dine. Oh, and also Summertime Dine. So they have quite a few and it's always amazing. And the character interactions are just, they're the best. Last week, me and my friend Jojo actually came here to eat because they just switched over to the Halloween dine, but the buffet didn't start yet. And I was hesitant whether or not I was actually going to eat there that night. And because I was like, oh, I know I'm coming back for the buffet. And I'm so glad that I did because it was such a phenomenal experience. And I'm hoping that tonight's going to be the same way. I mean, things might be different because of, you know, the traffic and people going up to the buffet and stuff like that. But we're just going to, you know, see how it all goes. I mean, I love it. This is one of my favorite restaurants. I do come here like five times a year because like I said, it always changes, always. We have a couple minutes before our reservation starts, so I wanted to point out one of my all-time favorite little hidden Easter eggs here at Hollywood Studios. And if you're a big fan of Roger Rabbit, you might notice his silhouette right here in this window as he busts through the glass. And also, this whole entire top floor is Eddie Valant's private investigation office. Isn't that so cool? All crime, surveillance, missing persons, that's such an awesome uh, Who Framed Roger Rabbit uh, Easter egg, and I love it. Also, 1928 in the top of the building, and that one's empty. It says, office space for rent. No actors. There's a sign that says no actors in the far window there. Such cool things. It's detailed. That's what I love about Disney. It's such an awesome thing to be covering and showing you guys all of the restaurant reopenings and soon there's going to be no more. Only grand reopenings or grand openings because everything is almost back. I mean, we're still waiting on 1900 Park Fair, which hopefully that'll come soon. That'll be like the last buffet to return, I think. I mean, well, no, technically Trails End still hasn't switched back over to the buffet. Some of the places are still doing the uh, family dining, but 1900 Park Fair hasn't opened yet. So hopefully soon. I mean, I love that. Everyone likes to go there and see uh, Cinderella. It's such a great actual restaurant. Out front, they actually changed the menu, and also along with the dinner buffet, the uh, Disney Junior Play and Dine breakfast is back, and that is from 8.30 a.m. to 10.30 a.m., and that is $42 a person. But for dinner tonight, it's $55 a person, and that includes a creative area of salads, some pastas, baked breads, roasted carved meats, seasonal fish, some peel and eat shrimp, a lot of good stuff. Since I was just here actually eating, we're not going to be focusing just on that today. We're also going to be just hanging out at Hollywood Studios, having some fun, meet up with some friends. You know what I mean? Like I said, just have a nice Hollywood Studios day. Right now, I'm going to meet up with a friend who's waiting for me at the Tune In Lounge. And this is in between 50's Primetime and Hollywood and Vine. And this is one of my favorite places to actually sit down and grab a drink or one of my favorite little lounges. Don't touch that dial without a sound of refreshing drinks, beer, wine, and cocktails. It's really, really cool in here. This is definitely one of my go-to spots. You get to just kind of step back in time to the 1950s inside your grandma's living room and hang out and grab yourself a drink, go to the living room, got some TV. Isn't that fancy? I got myself an Oktoberfest. 
I love it. This this is like I said. I mean, honestly, I think all of Hollywood Studios restaurants, it's all about the theming. Like the, everything has such a great theme. What I mean when I say it's all about the theming in the restaurants, they're not like the best like fancy restaurants. Like the food is okay, but it's not like, you know, fillets and stuff like that. They do have the Hollywood Brown Derby, but like 50s prime time sells like chicken and uh, pot roast and stuff like that. Sci-Fi Dine-In is a restaurant where you sit inside of a car and they sell burgers and hot dogs. So it's more about the theming than anything. And I think they have some of the best themed restaurants. I mean, let me know what you guys think. Like, I mean, when it comes to the, the restaurant itself, I think they are the best. Not the food, just the restaurant. Let me know what you think in the comments. All right, it looks like our table's ready, so we're gonna head on in, and I'm very excited. I'm very hungry. I'm uh, really intrigued to see if they switched up the menu from the old menu, and then also just see like what kind of changes that's gonna happen. Also, I wanna see the characters. I wanna see Mickey and Minnie and Goofy and Pluto all dressed up in their spooky best again. I am so excited to see buffets back at Walt Disney World. I feel like they offer so much more variety. And this is such a big buffet line. I mean, look at this. It goes from there, comes all the way down here, and then back all the way down. I'm pretty sure some of it's duplicate, but still, it's a, it's a big, big buffet line. And look at the chefs back there preparing the best of Hollywood and Vine. <laughs> it's kind of funny because I think I'm sitting exactly where we sat last time. Once you get to your table, they actually give you a little autograph card with all of our characters. And this is everyone we're going to be seeing today. It's actually, I think this is their outfits too. Like this, this whole entire card was made for Hollywood and Vine. Like Mickey's dressed up like his little vampire and mini witch. And then Goofy is like a skeleton cowboy crossover, I think. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> He's a skeleton cowboy. Right? That's the way. I love it. I can't tell if he's a pumpkin or a skeleton. He's a spider. spider. A spider cowboy. Spider, spider boy. Spider skeleton. <laughs> Either way, I love it all. <laughs> Very cool. The characters are going to be just coming around to the table. Then they do their little special dance. They play Halloween music. And uh, instead of ordering our entree, we're going to place our drink order and then head up to the buffet. I'll give you the grand tour. All right, now it's time to actually head on up and check out the buffet. It's broken up between uh, two different sides, but they're all identical food items on each side. So, it's, I mean, it's a pretty big buffet line. Uh, the only thing different is this one ends with beef, and the other one ends with, I think, pork butt. So, uh, just dive in. They got a kid station, too, and I always love the kid station. Looks like we've got a nice little bread station. Multiple different types of bread, mini pita bread. We got focaccia, and then we've got Spitzwreck. Spitzwreck, Spitzwreck rolls. I don't know why that sounds so funny. I think we're gonna start off and do it just kind of by the different bar section. So we're gonna start off with some salad and some soup. They've got cherry tomatoes, diced cucumbers, mixed greens, chopped romaine, lots of good stuff. They got some hummus over there, mixed olives, but what I'm excited for is some chicken noodle soup. Look at that. Definitely gonna get ourselves a cup of chicken noodle soup. On top of the soup, they've got peony shrimp, a kale apple cranberry salad, bean salad. They've got couscous. Ooh, they got some couscous back there. I love couscous, I get excited. Cilantro, lime, vinaigrette, some couscous. On top of that couscous, they've got some fruit too. Some watermelon, grapes, honeydew, cantaloupe, pineapple, all the good stuff. But I'm sticking to some couscous and chicken noodle soup, just to start. One of the things I love about Hollywood and Vine is their croutons. They have like focaccia croutons. And I'm not getting any salad, but I'm getting soup. So I'm thinking about getting some croutons to put in my soup. I don't think I've ever done this before, but it's almost like the ultimate cracker here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Croutons and soup. I think that sounds pretty good. Gonna just put it right there. We'll find out. All right, we got our soup, and then we're gonna go up and check out all of the hot food. But uh, now I think Minnie's coming out. I guess I had a mini. Oh, there she is. <laughs> I'm so happy to see you again, Minnie. Oh, yes. I was just here uh, a couple of days ago, and I was like, I'm coming back. I'll be back. So 
I came back. I'm happy. I'm excited. The food looks great. You're doing a great time. You're a, a fantastic host. And uh, I'm excited. <laughs> Very cool. Oh. Yeah, she's got a spider. You got a spider too. I know. I'm not looking at my spiders. Yeah. <laughs> You didn't want a photo with Goofy, but you want a photo with Minnie? No, I put you on the spot. <laughs> Let me tell you something. You've got Chef Mickey's, you got Goofy's kitchen over in Disneyland, but here, it's all about Minnie's. This is her bash right here, Minnie's Seasonal Dine. So she's the party host, and they're actually doing a costume contest, they said. So you gotta vote to see who has the best costume. You guys vote let me know in the comments I mean you've seen them before I still just love coming and checking out but Minnie's Minnie's always the best all right let's dive into the uh, couscous do you like couscous Sarah I do. yeah I have some here. oh you got some couscous I did. you got some shrimp too I, did. Um, I got some couscous and soup <laughs> it's time for a little couscous test oh it also looks like they got something else in there too that is so good Look at this love. Oh. <laughs> I love it. The best. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the couscous is where it's at, but now we gotta try our crouton soup hack. Little chicken noodle soup, little crouton. Let it soak up a little bit. You want a little soggy crouton in there. And then we're gonna take a bite. Don't look now, but Mickey is next to you. <laughs> there he is. Hiya, pal. Oh, look at you. Looking very mysterious. Very spooky. I like it. Yep. Minnie was just here. Yep, yep, yep. She came in. It's her dine, you know, her host. Oh, yeah, she's over there. Yep. <laughs> very nice. Oh, yes. I need a picture. Yep. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like this is the only time something could be soggy and good you know what I mean usually I don't say we got we don't got time for soggy business but I'm happy for this we in some soup Mickey likes the soup oh yeah that's a hack that is amazing all right here is a look at the hot food we got sour cream and chive whipped potatoes We've got seared salmon with a beret blanc. We've got caramelized Brussels sprouts, which actually look pretty amazing. We've got oven roasted chicken. We've got olive oil roasted potatoes, which I am all about. Look at those potatoes. Oh my Lord, I can't wait to make uh, a plate because that looks so good. Then we've got some roasted mushroom risotto, a crispy tofu with Asian glazed, broccolini and spring peas and pearl onions. Oh, this tofu though does look good. I might try some tofu today. And even the, the uh, spring peas, those look good as well. Continuing on down, they also have beef stew with root vegetables. They've got white rice, roasted pork with spicy mustard sauce, macaroni and cheese with shrimp and bacon, meatballs and barbecue sauce, and pineapple. That's something I'm interested in. And then for the carving station on this side, we've got herb crusted tenderloin steak. That looks really, really good. I'm coming back for that. <laughs> oh, and then for the kids section, which I love the kids section. Oh, they got corn dogs. Before I was talking about how the other side is basically just a duplicate except for at the end. But I did want to point out that when we walk past the meatballs on the other side, they didn't look as good as these meatballs right here. Those look phenomenal. And instead of the beef, they have the slow roasted crispy pork belly with gavi glaze so that all looks so phenomenal and like i said down here they have all of the kids food corn dogs potato barrels chicken nuggets mac and cheese penne pasta roasted chicken green beans all of it we're gonna start putting together a plate and try a little bit of everything and then we're gonna show you the dessert section and I am excited for the desserts. They look phenomenal. They have some hot, warm desserts and a couple of nice cakes and pies. It looks really good. All right, here is my first plate. And I got a little bit of everything, just like little tiny portions of each. Some things I got duplicates. You know, I got like two corn dogs, four potato barrels, five Brussels sprouts, one meatball, one meatball, but <laughs> that's about it. I mean, I'm excited for the meatball though. And I'm also excited for the pork butt 
There was so much, but these potatoes, I've had the potatoes before with the entree, and they're so good. They're like smashed potatoes. And also, one piece of tofu. Pluto's walking around like a dog on the streets. Look at him. <laughs> there he is. Coming in with the springy whiskers. <laughs> that is the best. Gracie says hi, Pluto. Yep. Aw, that's so great. <laughs> Thank you, pal. I know. Oh, yes. I, it's, it's very nice. It's a very fancy name tag. I mean, a color. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Thank you. And your costume is great. Yep. Vote Pluto. <laughs> first things first, let's try these meatballs. I'm excited. A little barbecue, a little pineapple. Mm. It's okay. It's not like super amazing. I mean, it's good though. I do like the peppers that are inside of it. I actually might like the peppers a little bit more than I like the uh, meatball itself. Like, oh, and it looks like I picked up a pork butt. Look at that. It's an accidental pork butt. I don't know how it happens, but it does. So I guess we're gonna, let's try the pork butt here. Oh wait, I can't do that. I gotta put it down. There we go. There we go. That was actually the pork loin. This is the pork butt. But it's so funny how I kind of just went to go get some peppers and I pulled it all the way up. Now I want to drive into the Brussels sprouts. You know, I love Brussels sprouts. I actually love uh, Polite Pig's Brussels sprouts. Best ones on property. All about the Brussels sprouts. Ooh, they do have a cinnamon taste to them. But they're really good. The only thing I don't, they're not really crispy crispy, but they're good. The flavor is good. But I like it like a little crispy crispy, you know what I mean? No one's got time for soggy Brussels sprouts. Only soggy breadcrumbs or <laughs> croutons. Only soggy croutons are acceptable. All right, now I want to dive into the pork butt. Is it pork butt or is it uh, pork belly? I keep on, I think it's pork belly. Oh, I don't know why I keep calling it pork butt. But pork belly, either way, it does look good. I like the outside of it. You can see it really good. I got a little bit of that gobby barbecue sauce on there. So we're going to give it a go. I think this is actually one of the newer items too. So this wasn't actually on the family style, like something you can get. And I don't remember being on the buffet past tense. So, yeah, give it a go. Oh yeah. That's the stuff. <laughs> Everything was pretty good, but I saved the tofu for last. I mean, I really, I, maybe I've had tofu before, but I can't recall. I don't think it's somebody, I don't think it's something I won't like, but this just looked good. It kind of looked like General Saul's chicken, so we're gonna give it a go. I don't know why I always say we're gonna give it a go because whenever I say that, I automatically hear like that uh, Christina Aguilera song, the uh, Gucci Gucci ya yeah, ya yeah, da da. We're gonna give it a go. You know what I mean? But I, I kind of always, I don't know why I do that. Anyways, tofu. It tastes like General Saul's chicken, actually, kind of. Huh. I decided to go up and grab another plate with some of my favorites just so I can enjoy them a little more. And uh, I would have to say, like uh, the pork uh, belly. Oh, yes. Goofy, I'm here for the Brussels sprouts. Yep. <laughs> they're very good. And the meatballs. Oh, they're good. Do you have some? Yeah, it's very good, right? And you're still running around, too. I don't know. Usually when I get done eating, I just get full. <laughs> I love it. Ah, oh, yeah, nice and relaxed. You're the best, Goofy. Thanks, pal. <laughs> it really is amazing how the characters just interact with you as you're just eating. You know, Mickey coming up, Goofy, and it's just great. It's honestly some of the best character interactions that you can get. And also the service here is phenomenal too. They're very prompt with bringing out fresh silverware, plates, and the kitchen staff is fantastic, happy, and I like it. I, Hollywood Vine is a staple. But like I said, I went up and grabbed a couple of my favorite things and Brussels sprouts, I decided to get more of them. I really love the flavor and I did get a fresher batch and they were crispier so they're very good. My potatoes that I like so much, even though Sarah says they're not salty enough. But, oh, what are you, sprinkling salt on there right now? You are, aren't you? I caught you, you're being a little salty. 
<laughs> and, and then of course the board butt and the meatballs were very good so yeah overall i like it well i mean we'll do a complete rundown after we have dessert i am starting to feel stuffed but we need to have some dessert so we're not throwing in the towel yet now it's time to dive into the desserts and we're going to start off with the soft serve ice cream they got a little chocolate vanilla and twist they got chocolate syrup and caramel syrup on pump over there we've got a seasonal bread pudding oh look at that seasonal i wonder what it is an apple crisp right there these are all hot then we've got some of the halloween treats themselves carrot cake with uh, cream cheese icing mississippi mud pie kind of looks like little bats on there and then a candy magic bar that looks really good a peanut butter and jelly tart and a creme brulee cheesecake so lots of good desserts to go for i asked about the bread pudding and it's actually cranberry and oranges as a seasonal and they switch it up depending on the seasonal dine not too sure why it would be cranberry and orange for halloween i feel like that would be something maybe for the christmas one maybe you know but i don't know i mean we're gonna try it along with the peanut butter and jelly tart and probably everything else my friend sarah actually pointed out that the cupcake wrapper was an r2d2 which is definitely a little out of place unless the cupcakes are dressing up oh wow mind blown right now maybe i mean it is a carrot cake cupcake so it is seasonal like a halloween cupcake so maybe the the cupcakes are dressed up in their favorite little droid best maybe <laughs> All right, so I'm diving in on the bread pudding first. Get a little bread pudding. It's good. It's good bread pudding. I mean, it's not like Ohana. You know what I mean? But it's good. Now I'm going to try a little bit of the mousse cake or the chocolate. Oh, that is really good, actually. I like that better than the bread pudding. I'll take another bite. All right, and now peanut butter and jelly. A peanut butter and jelly tart. I feel like this is something that would be over at 50's prime time because they're known for their peanut butter and jelly uh, milkshake. That's good. So far, I gotta say, I really love the peanut butter and jelly tart most. I mean, I just like peanut butter and jelly, but we still have to try the candy, candy bar here. I don't know if that's, oh. Oh, well, that's not gonna work that way. And the carrot cake. Oh, here she is. You know it's the costume. Yeah. <laughs> Minnie, Minnie won the best costume. Yep, I'm so goofy. I, but she's, <laughs> she's right there. can't take it from Minnie. She's, she's, it's hers. It's Minnie's seasonal dine. Minnie's seasonal dine, yep. She wins. one of these days, Goofy. Yeah, yep, yep. <laughs> that was really awesome and I have to say I like the buffet being back I like the variety of food that they have I'm happy they added some really good things and also if you were here for the uh, family style dining they did keep a couple of those items like I'm pretty sure the beef is the same uh, the pork loin which had that spicy chutney on it that's the same and then the, the polenta and I love it. And like I said, the characters are fantastic. But let me know in the comments what you guys think. Did you like the family style? Or do you like the buffets? And it's also great to see a character buffet returning. It's the first one. First character buffet to return. Now it is dark out. And I like seeing all the neon lights turn on, though. This is where we were at before. Tune in lounge. And uh, a little time left in the park. The park officially closes at 9 o'clock. But uh, it's 8.30 now, so we can go down to Ogus Canteen. And I think their last reservation is like, I think 45 minutes after the park closes. So it's a good way to actually have more fun in the park. So that's the plan. We're going to Ogus. It's kind of funny how we ended up coming down here. Like I said, I, I, I always like just coming and hanging out at the park. We didn't get to ride any rides today, but we did get to go to the Tune-In Lounge. We got to go to Hollywood and Vine, and now to Ogre's Canteen. And we're gonna be able to see the park a little bit empty afterwards. So it's gonna be fun. We're gonna be meeting up with some friends as well, having some drinks, just kind of hanging out. Rancor! Looks like somebody got the Rancor. I wish I got the Rancor. Aww. 
It's also really cool because it's the first time I've ever had a whole table by myself, and I like the lighting that's happening right now. Do you see that? It's really like, like I like it. Here is a look at the menu. Usually I always say go with the fuzzy tom tom, but today I'm going with my gold squadron. I love it, gold squadron lager. That's the bloody rancor. Oh, fuzzy, one roll, fuzzy, strong one about my most senior. Oh, and my gold squadron, look at this. Always my go-to whenever I come here, it is just so good. Uh-oh. The best thing about having a late reservation at the canteen is actually coming out to an empty Hollywood Studios. Look at this. Completely empty out here. It is now 10.07. So an hour and seven minutes past the park close and we are not even like the last people that are coming out of Ovis Canteen. There are so many people in there and I think like I said the last reservation is like 9.30. So they even have like 45 minutes. Like, cause it has a 45 minute like uh, time to actually be inside so it's just really nice it's cool to see it's so empty like i'm the only one here like if i just kind of like pan around look at that it is so nifty even on this side i got the whole place to myself i know i always show it but i just think it's just such a, a crazy thing just to have basically everything all empty because you, you kind of like get used to seeing a place like this full of crowds you know and now you get to just walk out and get that special picture. You know, the one that everyone wants with nothing behind them. <laughs> An empty sunset like this. An empty sunset like this. Well, that was fun. Now it's time to actually head home. We're gonna check on Gracie Girl and see how she's doing and also get some things together for uh, the upcoming auction. Because you guys know, I got the uh, live stream auction through the WhatNot app actually going down uh, probably the same day as you guys are watching this video. I'm pretty sure. We'll figure it out once we get home, but gotta see Gracie Girl. Wish I could have brought her something, but they don't sell cupcakes here at Hollywood Studios. <laughs> There she is! Oh, crazy! Oh, what you doing, huh? What are you doing? Let me see that butt. Oh, you got a tail wagon. What are you doing, huh? You happy to see me? You want a treat? Does Gracie want a cookie? I see you there. You ready? Are you hiding seek? Here we go. <laughs> Where are you going? Gracie loves those little cookies. And it's funny because she takes them and runs away with them. Like Pup Cup, she usually just eats them, maybe because they're soft, but she always takes the cookies and then runs with them. But I love her anyway, she's very mysterious, but she's a great dog. And uh, like I said, I mean, Hollywood and Vine was fantastic. It was great. I love the buffet. Uh, I think it's such a great uh, thing to bring back. I like variety. Do you know what I mean? I like when there's multiple things that you get to try. Character always amazing. The chefs, the waitresses, everyone. I mean, Hollywood and Vine always impresses me. And like I said before, we're going to be doing our whatnot live stream auction uh, to, uh, we're going to have raise money for Give Kids the World. That's going to be actually probably today. Like, if you're watching this video the day of, uh, it's going to be August 29th, which is Monday. That's when I'm going to post this video. It's going to be on whatnot. I'm going to add a link in the description so you guys can check it out. We're going to be auctioning off some really cool things, like I said, and uh, any profits made, we're going to give the Give Kids a World. So, it's going to be fun, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye!